Welcome to the channel. In this video, I just wanted to talk about some free printable upgrades for your uh, SV05, like this strain relief for the bed. This cable just hangs there. This sorts that out. I don't know if you want to call this an upgrade, but this is a top mounted spool holder. Um, if you're like me, you didn't really like the one on the side. Plus, it, this is really easy to load and unload. Just slip that in there and it gets rid of all of that Bowden tube that you had previously. It's kind of unnecessary. But there's a couple things you need to do in order for this to work. One is that you're going to want to cut your Bowden tube so that it is longer than the actual top of the cable here. You don't want it shorter because then the filament will actually rub on that cable and it'll cut it and you don't want that to happen. The other thing you have to do is you need to make sure that the cable is on the inside of your frame and not the outside. If you're like me when you put it together this was on the outside. You don't want it over there. You want it on the inside. The reason for that is it'll catch if it's on the outside. Ask me how I know. If you remove the belt on both sides here and then loosen these top you don't have to take them off just loosen them then this whole um, hot end assembly comes off and then you can reroute it makes it pretty easy to do but anyway I, I really like this one so the last upgrade I want to talk about here is the fan shroud so I printed this out um, when I did my review of this printer, it's easy print. Um, you can just watch that little bit and you can see how I did it. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a couple of test prints here in a second to show you the differences between stock and this one. One thing to note though is that this was hitting prints, so I had to sand the very bottom of it right by the nozzle. I don't know if it's uh, my nozzle is tighter or if I had too many walls or what, but keep that in mind. Anyway, let's get to the test prints. So this is a print of a little screw and it's good for testing overhangs for your fan. Okay, so we can see this turned out pretty good. Um, sidewall looks really good. You can see there's a little loop underneath, but I mean it still doesn't look bad for what it is. So I mean all in all I'd say the fan is doing a really good job. There's a couple of little loops you can see. But you're probably going to need a, a bigger fan for her to get rid of that. I'd say pretty good. So now we're going to print the exact same thing, except this time we're using the stock fan shroud. And we'll see how things turn out. All right, let's see how this one turned out. Um, from it, it looks really good, uh, just like the other one did. To be honest, I don't really see a whole lot of difference. There might be one or two less loops. It's hard to say. I mean, it, it really looks almost identical, which is kind of a problem. So, you know, that didn't really tell me anything as to which is better. So let's go through a couple more prints and see what we get. Okay, so this is an overhang test from Teaching Tech. He did a thing on uh, testing his fans using this one, so I figured it was a good one to try. Let's let it print and take a look at it.
Okay, so here are the results. I, I skipped showing a couple of things because this just got kind of weird. So this is from the stock shroud. This is from the new shroud. And these screws, I, I can't see a difference. I mean, they look basically the same to me. And then I, I figured they were going to look different, but they don't. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure how much better the, the new shroud is based off of this model. So that's when I went to the teaching tech model, which checks, you know, all four angles. And this model, you can see on the bridging at the bottom, let me try and get it, it there's like a bubble. So bridging doesn't work too well, uh, at least on this model with the stock shroud. Uh, the rest of it looks okay, but down here at the bottom, you know, the air comes this way. So it, it's kind of weird how it bubbled like that. But I thought it might be a fluke, so I printed it again. Uh, exact same model and exact same bubble. Which, you know, again, I thought was kind of interesting. So I then printed it with the new shroud. And the top looks basically the same as the other, but the bubble is gone. So I don't know if, you know, it's because all of that air is coming out in a straight direction and the new shroud you know, separates it and forces it, you know, left and right of the nozzle. I don't know, but your bridging is definitely better using the new shroud. Um, for that alone, you know, I decided to go ahead and use it versus the stock shroud. But it's interesting, you know, everything else on the model looks basically the same. Um, so, you know, take it for what it is. You know, you're not gonna get a massive improvement using this new fan shroud, but it seems like with bridging, at least bridging in you know, left and right, you will definitely see an improvement. So there you have it. So that does it for this video. These are a couple of easy print upgrades that you can do for your SV05. And you should see at least a little bit of improvement with this new fan shroud. I won't say it's massive, but you should see a little bit. And that strain relief is always nice. So if you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and press that thumbs up button. And like always, happy printing.